evil lurks in the hearts of men. <laughs> the shadow knows. Oh, 
Tenga. What's the matter with him? Well, Tenga's our houseman, butler, cook, and so on. He's mourning for his son who lives on a small island about a thousand miles from here. Poor fellow. When's he here? A month ago. Same night he thinks the boy died. But I thought you had no wireless station here. No, we haven't. Then... Uh, Tenga's wife told him by telepathy. Told him? You mean he believes his son dead because of a mental message sent by telepathy? It's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come now, Mr. Trenton. You don't believe such so rot. Frankly, I don't think it is all rot. I believe when two minds are in tune, sometimes they can't communicate. Across a thousand miles of ocean. From the ends of the earth. Oh, after don't all, I laugh too loudly, Mr. Fenton. Your disbelief might get a rude shock if you stay in the Orient long. You can never tell what strange things may happen today, tonight. Tenga! Tenga! Oh, confound the fellow. No good lately. You heard about his mourning for his son. Yes, to be sure. You know, I've told Tenga there can't be any truth to his notion, but that doesn't alter his belief. Excuse me, sir. Here comes the old man now. Yes, Master Whiteside. You call him? Have a coffee now, Tenga. Yes, Master. I bring you. A fine old type, a chieftain, I imagine, his own island. Well, I can't say, Mr. Preston. Tenga's a good houseman. That's all I know about him. Major, Ricky tells us that on his flight next week, he takes out your quarterly shipment of diamonds. Yes. He's sending off a sizable packet of the stones. They accumulate in three months. Mm -hmm. Isn't it risky letting them accumulate? I should think crooks might be tempted to line weights and pounds. Oh, nonsense, Preston. Takes three months to reach us by a train. Couldn't they take a hint from you and use a plane? Can't see how. There's no plane but ours on the whole island. None nearer than Australia, I should say. Well, Major. Now, if you'll forgive me, I'll take a squint at my mail from the office. No, of course. You other boys must want to read yours, too. Oh, thanks awfully, Miss Lane. There, there is one from home I'm making. Well, by Joe. Anything wrong, Major? No, no, nothing wrong. Just use it odd, that's all. I bring coffee now, Master Whiteside. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, <clears throat> Tinga. Yes, Master. I have a letter from the office. A message for you in it. The fact of the matter is, your wild guess was right. Your son did die a month ago. Oh, no. Yes, Master, I know. Tinga's wife tell him boy dead. I say, Tinga, we're awfully sorry. Thank you, Master Ned. Well, I, uh, well, that'll be all, Tinga. We'll help ourselves. You may go. Yes, Master. Tinga, go. Oh, fancy that now. I said that in the East the unbelievable always happens. Now, will you excuse me? I think I must speak to Tanga, sir. Well, whatever for? I'd like to give the old man a few words of consolation. Oh, I say that won't do. We never have personal dealings with the natives, Cranston. Bad for discipline, you know. I'm afraid I must ask you to refrain. Why, naturally, Major, if you wish. Margot, supposing you and I go out and look at the moon. Why, of course, Amon. Lovely tonight. I'll open the screen door for you. Well, what do you think of the Major, Lamont? A fine example of a ruler in the empire in which the sun just doesn't set. Not very nice of him forbidding you to speak to Tenga. Oh, I don't mind. At least he can't forbid the shadow doing so. You mean you'll go to Tenga as the shadow? Yes, Margot. Yes. But Lamont, you'll scare the poor old man. Sell it. Lamont, where are you? Speak to me. It's all right, Margot. I'm on my way to talk to Tenga as the shadow. <laughs> Why should Tenga fear? Many fear the shadow because they cannot see him. The shadow is strange magic. Tenga not understand. But an old man whose son has gone down in the land of dead fears nothing anymore. The shadow weeps for you. The tears of friend are bound to the heart. Is not your sorrow greater tonight because the letter has come making your son's death certain? No. Tenga need not white man's foolish letter. The white major does not understand how you could communicate with your wife across the waters. White men do not know wisdom and magic. Some white men know. That may be. I do not know. You do not question the shadow. You do not ask where I come from. No. The young and foolish question. The old take what comes. Soon I shall be gone. Far away toward the sea. But Tenga, though I am far off, I will still be your friend. Then 
now souls will speak to each other again when we are troubled. Yes, for when two spirits are in tune, the waters of the earth and the many miles of forest do not part them. They can still meet and speak. Roger back down and paid for every one of the cows. Oh, how interesting, Governor. Yes, must tell that you to Cranston. Yes, indeed. Why, well, that's funny. I, I thought he was dancing with Lady Brainford. No, I saw so him going to the garden a moment ago. Your friend's a very restless chap, isn't he? Not ordinarily, Governor, but I, I must confess that he certainly has been jumpy this evening. Perhaps the flight back from the hills upset him. Oh, I don't think so, Governor. Well, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll go and try to find him. I
knows what danger lurks in your path as you roll along over a wet, glistening highway. The shadow knows today's high speed, slippery oil-filled roads, and quick-acting brakes all spell S-K-I-D. Is a treacherous car-spinning skid just around the corner for you? Or are you going to play safe? To fight this dangerous hazard that killed and injured thousands of motorists last year, to protect you in the hazard zone of motoring, where a slippery film of water may make complete command of your car almost impossible, Goodrich has developed the new Safety Silvertown with the special skid protection of the Lifesaver Tread. This new development in Tread actually dries wet roof. Its never-ending spiral bars act like a battery of windshield wipers, sweep the water right and left, force it out through deep grooves, make a dry track for the rubber to grip. And remember, motorists, you needn't take anybody's word for how fast this tire will stop you. One free demonstration ride will prove to you that the new Silvertown will stop you quicker, safer than you've ever stopped before, no matter how wet the going is. Many of your friends right here in town have already discovered what it means to be saved by a Silvertown stop. They'll all tell you that Silvertowns below mean greater safety above. Don't take chances. Protect your family, your car, and your friends. Ride on the new Goodrich Safety Silvertown tire. Governor, Governor, you've got to listen to me. I tell you, I know. How ridiculous, Mr. Cranston. Governor, your friends, those men in the hills, they may be killed. My dear Miss Lane, it's impossible for you to know anything about what's going on up there. Impossible. I told you, Governor, Tenga spoke to us. Please, Mr. Cranston, you can't ask me to believe that. Yes, it's true. I heard Tenga too, Governor. Pure imagination, my dear. Give me a play on some armed men, then we'll find out if it's imagination. The play, Mr. Cranston, is for official business only. Not for any silly joy ride. But it isn't silly. Tenga called us through mental telepathy, the oldest wireless in the world. Now, Cranston, I think I've listened to this cock and bull story long enough. I'll get back to my guest. Just lend me the plane. No, I won't lend it to you. Now put a guard around it in case you have any crazy schemes about grabbing it. But, Governor, these bandits... The bandits, my dear, are creatures of Mr. Cranston's imagination. Nothing more. Please excuse me. I must give my orders to the guard. You may regret this, Governor. I doubt it, Mr. Cranston. If you ask me, you'd better consult the doctor. Such a was about it. Oh, Lamont, what can we do? Do, Margo, we're going up to that mine. But how? We're flying, taking the plane. But you heard the governor. He's putting guards around the plane. Guards, Margo, have never yet managed to stop the shadow. <laughs> Shadow. I 
here come some men now. They heard the plane landing. Yes, strangers, they had guns. No doubt they're the robbers. The plane's a surprise to them. Yes. There'll be another surprise later. They'll be hardly expecting the shadow. No. Now remember, Margot, you're alone. No one on the coast suspects what's happening here. I'll remember. Be careful, Shadow. Here they come. Come on, I've got pilot out of here. What's the matter? Hey, boss! It's a woman. Well, what is this? What's the matter? I don't know you. Yeah, let me in there. By a girl. Alone. Yeah, look. Hey, what are you doing here, sister? Well, please, put down that gun. Answer my question. Well, I, I borrowed the plane and flew up to see a friend, Ned Fenton. Well, your friend ain't receiving, sister. But thanks very much for the plane. Bring her out, Jake. Sure. Come on, babe, and keep those pretty paws up. Very well. There she is. Now, come on, miss. Jump down here. This is a hold-up, isn't it? You catch on quick. Fly me. Can you fly this crate? Sure, easy. But I uh, I used up all the gas. There's gas over in that shack, Lammy. Fill her up. We'll bump off the rest of these mining guys and get out of here. I'll get the gas right away. All right, Jake. Bring the name. I want to talk to her. Okay, boys. Come on, you. I'm coming. Let go of my arm. Come on. Get out of here. Your plan to steal the diamonds has failed. 
The devil it has. Look. Look on the table. The diamonds. They're gone. I've taken them, Jordan, just as I took the parts from the motors and the plane. You cannot escape. Shadow, my friends are locked in this room. Get away from that door, doll, before I throttle you. No, my friend, let the girl go. Oh, oh. oh Shadow, you... I knocked him out, Margot. Now I must leave things in your hands. I cannot reveal my presence here as the shadow to our friends. But I will be here watching in the shadows. Now, unlock the door and let our friends out. The key is in the lock. Yes. Hurry, men. Come on out. Never mind that. Hurry. Take the machine gun out there. You must arm yourself. Gordon, the leader's lying there unconscious, but the others are still free and dangerous. Let's have that polygon, Miss Lane. We'll we'll give them a reception. Miss Lane, you'd better go in the next room there. There'll be bullets flying in here. All right. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. We can't find him. Hey, Jake, throw up your hands. What do you say? Hands up, I say. Not me, you. Hey, let it go. That's for Major Whiteside. Now, come on, fellows. Let's get the other. Shadow, are you still here? Yes, Tenga. I'm here. Then you see Master Ned kill Batman? Yes, Ned had no alternative. They tried to fight. Look through the window, Tenga. Another bad man die. Others fly towards jungle. They go also to their death. Listen. Native drums. Ah, Tenga. I understand. Yes, master. Boys in jungle know these white men bad. They glad. To kill them. Their leader, Jordan, there will live only a little longer. Then he will die at the hands of the authorities. He planned well, but he forgot one thing. Yes, Shadow. He forgot Shadow and Tinga speak together no matter where he is. No matter where I am. Yes, Tinga. And he forgot crime always brings its own penalty. No matter whether justice is brought about by means of mental telepathy, recognized detective forces, or the shadow. listening to a dramatized version of one of the many copyrighted stories which appear in the Shadow magazine.